Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to take a look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 2.4.2. Let's get a look and see what's new here. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, we're going to get a look at the latest update for Topaz Photo AI version 2.4.2. This won't be a long video. I just want to show you some of the changes here, three in particular. I really like the way this product is going, and hopefully you will too. So let's check it out. I brought this stock image into Topaz Photo AI, and I made a few enhancements on it. And if we look over to the right of the interface, you can see I removed noise from the background only, not the bird, not the subject. Then I sharpened the subject only. I adjusted the lighting on the image and balanced out the color. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this image to like 200% so we could get a closer look here. Because what I want to show you next are these enhancements over here. And you'll notice I have one enhancement, remove noise, another one sharpen, another adjust lighting, another balance color. Now for myself, I like to refer to these as layers, but here is something new and this is big for me. And I think it's much needed. And let me know in the comments section below if you think this is much needed yourself. And that is the fact that we can see the eye here. You can shut this layer off. So if we wanted to see what remove noise was doing, I could click this eye and shut this layer off and give it a second or two to render out. Now, I don't know if you can see, you can see the noise in the image there. That's without the remove noise on. Now I'll click the eye again and turn it back on. So that's something new. And we could do that for sharpen. We can shut sharpen off and you can see the effect that sharpening is giving me as well as adjust lighting. Let me shut that off and you can see what it's doing. I'll turn it back on and let's look at balance color while we're at it. And that's what it looks like without the balance color adjustment. Now I do want to say something about adjust lighting and balance color. These are two enhancements that I really don't use. I'm not saying I won't use them in the future, but in my workflow, which is a Photoshop workflow, I do all the lighting adjustments and balancing of color and things like that right inside of Photoshop. I don't really use Photo AI for that, but if you find that something that you really like and like to use it, let me know about that in the comment section below. Now, here's another big change, and this is what Topaz are calling it, added processing for entire enhancement history. I'm like, well, what the heck does that mean? And I think it means this. And I addressed this in my last Topaz Photo AI video. And that was, if you click on any one of these layers, let me, for instance, click on remove noise. And then the control panel comes up where I can adjust the controls or change the selection by clicking on selection. But if I had this panel opened up here, the all the adjustments or enhancements below it would be shut off. In other words, they would not be affecting the image. They do now, which is a big improvement. If I have the control panel for remove noise opened and I don't click close and click save image, the only thing that would get added to the image would be the remove noise enhancement. Well, that's no longer the case. Right now, if I leave this panel open and hit save, all these adjustments will get added which is what you would want. So that is a really big change and I'm really glad they fixed that. So I don't have to close this panel. I could just click save if I wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and close it anyway. And just to make sure you understand what I'm talking about is if I clicked on sharpen, this panel opens up. That would mean if I click save right now and I didn't click close, the only adjustments that would be added would be remove noise and sharpen. Adjust lighting and balance color would not be added. Now, it doesn't matter if you leave a panel open. You don't have to click close like you did before. And then when you save your image, all your enhancements will be added to the image. Now, here's something else Topaz have added to Photo AI. They've added support for exporting images from Fuji x100 vi cameras i have one final change to show you they've added a preference for adjusting preview area when upscaling now this is an upscaled image if i click on upscale you can see it's upscaled 3.32 times right now see the eye here if i shut off this enhancement by clicking the eye you can see that is the size of the image at 100 percent and now if i click this enhancement back on by clicking on the eye you can see that's what it looks like upscaled 
But let's come up here to Photo AI up to the menu and click on Preferences, and I'll show you. And you'll find this under General. If you come down here and see right here where it says Update Zoom After Upscaling, Preview Area Changes When Upscaling and Downscaling. Zoom does not change. So let's go ahead and toggle this on and click Apply. Now notice what happens if I shut upscale off by clicking the eye. The image is now no longer upscaled or enhanced, but the preview looks the same size. But remember, it is not upscaled. The zoom of the image is now 332%. If I turn upscale back on by clicking on this eye, now the image is upscaled and enhanced and you can see the effect there. But now you'll notice that this says 100%, not 332% because the image has been upscaled. And I hope that makes sense. Now remember to get this to look like this, where when you shut the layer off, it stays, you're actually seeing the same image without the enhancement on it, but it will zoom up to 332%. But the image size for the preview looks the same size. Now remember it's considerably zoomed in. But if we come up here and go to preferences, and if I go ahead and shut this toggle off, and click apply. Now note when I shut off the upscale enhancement by clicking the eye, now you can see what the actual size of the image looks like at 100%. And now if I turn it back on, you can see it's upscaled, but it's still zoomed at 100%. So you could decide whichever way you wanna set up that preference, but now you know what it does. By the way, if you're into batch processing your images, Topaz have improved large batch upload speed significantly. If you want to see all the changes and fixes, you could come up to the help menu in Topaz Photo AI, click that and click on release notes and then click on Topaz Photo AI 2.4.2 and you could check out the changes since 2.4.1. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.